<laughs> Hello, all right, let's say we play a little bit more Firewatch here. So, uh, last time, we were coming up upon this little medicine wheel thing. We got randomly attacked in the middle of nowhere. And now, I think, I think the next thing we want to do is, I, I want to take a look at this freaking whatever it is. It's just random medicine wheel thing. Oh, medicine wheel. Old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here. I don't yeah, see how this is a wheel. American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Don't think so. Sure well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. All right. Let's see. We are going not there. We're going down there. Where are we right now? So I think we want to head this way. I love that. Oh, God. You know what? This game really reminds me of Pixar. Does anyone else get that feeling? Like, not so much the environment. Although, I guess, you know, it could be a little Pixar-y. But the, just the way everything's animated, the way he brings things up and moves, and the way everything moves around... It, it's very, very Pixar. I, I freak, oh, just, I freaking love it. <laughs> Everything about this game is just absolutely gorgeous. What were we doing? Okay, right. So, we found that fence, that spoopy fence, and now we are on our way to find, uh, I guess, some firemen? They were doing like a controlled burn, and Delilah seems to think that they can help me get through the fence. Don't know why they'd help me get through a fence, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, there's a path down here. I guess that's probably easier than climbing this mountain. Not like it really matters. This is a nice rock. Don't really know why, but I appreciate that rock. Rock appreciation. Catch it. Wow, look at that. Is that mine? That's not mine. Is it? Where am I? Oh. It is mine. <laughs> wow, guys, look at my own house. <laughs> Isn't it nice? <laughs> oh, God, I'm lost. Um, do we want to go this way? Oh, here we go. This is the direction we were supposed to go in the first place. Hop down the rock. Ooh, yay, this is gonna be a cool animation, here we go. Huh? Aw, oh, you're gonna make me walk around it. But you guys do neat little animations whenever I hop over a thing. It's really, like, pleasing to watch. See, this is why I keep checking the map, because I keep going the wrong damn way. I just have no sense of direction, apparently. Well, shit. Alright, I guess we gotta go further back. <laughs> this entire episode is just gonna be me getting lost in the Wyoming wilderness, isn't it? Oh, God. Imagine if you could starve. I'd be screwed. We get to hop across little rocks! Yay! Rock hopping! Oh yeah! This is- that's what I'm talking about. Yeah! Get it! Get it! Oh damn! Put a lot of effort into those jumps. Alright, let's find out what's in here. Uh, 
Alright. So first things first, I gotta copy the information for the map. Terminal 7, Jane Air. Ooh, toilet paper. Neato. Pine cone, more toilet paper. And it's just a brick. Let's take a look at the note. Ron, really wish the power of the B. Oh, really wish the powers of B could issue us some radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time, I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her. I'm a quarter way through this bottle of fifes instead. Miss you, Dave. Huh. Interesting. I didn't know what to say to her. Were they lovers? <laughs> like, genuine question. Because that's pretty much what it sounds like to me. Come on. What I gotta do to get down to that? Oh, do I have to scroll down to it? Huh? I don't know. Whatever. I'm gonna have to look over those again because I'm not sure where this is going. I found where they did the control burn. I can hike right through here now. So close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. <laughs> well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout <coughs> is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Then it's not a someone controlled burn fired. anymore, is it? Serious. Eh, 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 oh, eh, eh. But I'm. Oh, what the hell I'm is this? In the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. What the hell? There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. What the hell? There's another one. This is a shit ass pond. There's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for Pork it, but... Pork Pond. Uh, well, folks kept stealing it. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond. It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den. Or, you know, anywhere. Yeah, she's not wrong. <laughs> All right, where the hell am I going? So, is the scout camp anywhere near Pork Pond? Yeah, it is. Just keep heading east. You'll cross a small ravine, and you shouldn't be able to miss it. All right. So here's Pork Pond, everybody. Pork Pond. <laughs> That's delightful. Oh, look at this. What is this? Camp. Arapade. Araho. Arapaho. Camp Arapaho. Arapaho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. The bridge to the <laughs> camp is out. Damn. I'm going to walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Hmm, this seems like it can only end well. I'm gonna guess they want us to go this way. Gotta love those little game developer hints. Eh, we'll just go ahead and uh, knock out some of the fence here, I'll figure it out. probably just hop it right here, right? Of course, then again, I did see how much effort it took to get you across those stones, so maybe not. Hmm. 
not appear to be anything here. Hmm. If I wasn't so fat, I could shimmy across that right there. But, as it stands, I'm pretty fat. gonna get across this ravine. Another good question is why am I going across the ravine? If the bridge is out, why would they be on the other side? Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, another great one for the knees. Cool. Oh, look at this! <laughs> this is neat! Look at it! Neato! Alright. Oh, there's a little cabin out here. Let's see. There's a bunch of cabins out here. You ever talk to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian <laughs> Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. <laughs> we can do a scout or a or whatever. <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? That's mean. Uh, well, it's not that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You used to take wraps and shelters and stuff like that. Huh. You know how to tie one? Heck no, I'd make a Weebelow do it. <laughs> make a Weebelow do it. I remember Weebelows. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Hmm. Hey D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Does it say anything of note? Uh, Read. Doctor Simmons at Wapiti Station, the Rofel Region. There, Squad bus Carson. In the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the Rofel Region. The show shown. Holy crap! What? Keep reading. Oh, oh. I just thought I would maybe Wait a stop minute. there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone <laughs> to give me a taste of my own medicine. <laughs> running a research I love that word, percolate. Yeah, I was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that that we don't know about? What are they researching? They are researching us. Oh, you know, probably just horned toads. <laughs> and a Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just, what, recreation for them? I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. I'm freaking out here. Yeah, me too. Real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider that... Maybe this is all just a coincidence, but my gut says that there is something bad going on. Mine too. Okay. So what's next? I'm gonna do a scan no of supplies clue. and then figure out a way to get back over that ravine and hike towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Yeah, and believe me, I've been doing that ever since I got beaten senseless. Squad Boss Goss, in the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the thoroughfare region of Shoshone National Park to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of a wildfire risk assessment of the region. I told them that they have nothing to worry about and that protecting their site... And that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measure in pre protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away. But I think they've got insurance and companies to answer to. Thanks as always for your service, Rich Lesselerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerlerl
for both getting through the back country and getting through that fence. Yeah. Cool. New item. Out of here. Da 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 All right. So we have successfully made our way down to Spooky Station and we're back on our way up to Spookier Station. Uh and I think that will be for next time. Okay, bye-bye.